The census helps us understand what our society needs now and what it's likely to need in the future. Plan to succeed with me, Holly Tucker. The inspiration came to me through something quite obscure, the vegetable wreath. I was going through quite a difficult time in my life and I decided I needed to be creative. I had great fun in creating a wreath business. Decided that I wanted to sell these wreaths at a local fair. I decided that I would create the fair that I could then sell my wreaths at. Bringing together hundreds of small businesses in one place for discerning customers to find. And now I'm building Holly & Co, which is a home for small businesses, helping everybody build a business doing what they love. It is just a privilege to now watch so many small businesses thrive and I'm there to help them. More than ever, we have this wealth of knowledge at our fingertips. And so I urge every founder to really see what information and data is out there. Census data, for example, can tell us much about our customers now and in the future and basically empower you to make strategic decisions. The two main challenges I would say when I set up my businesses is amplification, actually getting the word out. I wish I'd had social media when starting Not On The High Street. And the other thing is cash. As they say, cash is king, cash is queen. I have been through the roller coaster of running out, raising it, and it doesn't get any easier. I think these are the two main things that really hold businesses back or present challenges at whatever stage stage of the growth. You are the driving innovator of your company. I describe it as a captain of a ship. You must be looking at the horizon at what is ahead. And the question you always have to ask yourself is everything that you are doing moving the ship forward in the right direction? The census helps us understand what our society needs now and what it's likely to need in the future, from helping fund services, for instance, in your area, to helping charities get the funding that they need. Understanding what our future society looks like basically means for business that we can build a business that will thrive for the future landscape. I've decided that I'm only going to retire at 90 with a lot of jewellery, a glass of wine in hand, maybe some eccentric glasses, but ultimately my happy place, the place that I am building a business from, is to help everybody else build a business doing what they love. So for me, if I can be doing exactly what I'm doing today in 10 years time, this is the goal.